Sims has it. Left side. Room to run and a first down and more. Out of bounds near the 40-yard line as Waller forced him out. Sims got 50. Sims. Spinning was Gibbs. Near the 40. He's with the way he's running the football and catching it as well out of the backfield. Georgia Tech just 36% on third down, 12th in the conference, and they're not going to get this one as Sims gets dragged down by Jordan Williams, the Clemson transfer, and a junior from Virginia. Putting that foot in the ground and going. It goes in a big way there. Sims sliding down at the 43-yard line. Dax Hollifield. Oh, they already did that, but you got to make them. Let's see if they make one here. Sims with a sweet pass on the edge. Into Virginia Tech territory. Kalani Norris makes the catch. In the midfield for the Jackets. Sims had 27 completions a week ago for a career high. Just got that one away to Mason, and he gets popped. Around the 47-yard line, only a yard come. And pass protection when he's in there, and they're blitzing. Sims, little screen action, flag is out. The hit is near midfield on Jordan Mason again. It's a hard-hitting game early on. Three of the last four and four of the last six between the teams. And that one incomplete. When they last met in 2019, James, though, it was all Virginia Tech, 45 to nothing. They're forcing a fourth and four. Seven of 13 on the season on fourth down. Looking for the end zone. And a touchdown. The pass from Sims to McGowan. 26 yards, and the Jackets are in the end zone. By Brad Corelson, the offensive coordinator for Virginia Tech. Sims got rid of it. How about that maturation right there, James? Just that little step forward to avoid the contact from the D. From the Sims with the poise that may have been deflected as he tried to find Dante Smith on a short yardage pass play. It's Dave Patnell, the offensive coordinator. One for three on third down. Sims has to improvise. Throw on the run, not enough on it. Tough throw. Receiver tried to come back, but Sims could not get it to go with Georgia Tech. First and ten. Sims. Cradling that football and easing his way out of bounds like a cool breeze for 17 yards. 44 times a week ago at Virginia for 300 yards and three TD passes. There he goes again. Up to the 31-yard line. Sims rolling that pocket. The right-hander unloads it to the 40, and that ball hits the turf. Looking for Malachi Carter. Guards to McGowan in the first quarter on a fourth down play. Sims with the patience. Hits his man Gibbs up near the 40 yard line. There's the example of Gibbs not only in the running game. Yardage. Not today though. Burmeister has found many targets. We'll see if Sims can find one. He waits, floats it complete. Sanders. Flag is out. Sanders gets by him here at the 40. Sanders makes a move at the 20. Down inside the 10. There is a flag on the play. Sanders, who was running the route, McGowan made the contact and the penalty flag. Sims directing some traffic. Now he'll tuck and run. Veer out of bounds past the 35-yard line for Jeff Sims. Peoples. This is Sims. Creating up there midfield for Sims. He's up to the 48 or 9. Stopped on a fourth and goal. Late in the fourth quarter on the three yard line. Underneath the complete midfield. In the red zone. Opening possession, second half. Sims buys a little time. Flag comes out, threw it back across his body to the 15. And that to Jack Coco. That tight end's all right. Four penalties against Georgia Tech in the game. Lose the ball back near the 30. Sims throws it. Here's Gibbs. 25-yard line. They have to get to the nine-yard line for a first down. It's a short pass near the 20 and caught by Jack Coco. Just five yards on the play. Georgia Tech's six. 
Sims got hit and the ball came loose. Hokies say they have it. The officials agree. Sims Lotto Jr. from Jacksonville, Florida in that secondary for Virginia Tech. Sims escapes the pressure momentarily. Did get it away with player hanging off with their hand in the grass. They just bring three. Three of nine on third down. That pass is incomplete. Out of bounds. Nick McCollum. Quarter one, two, three on the clock. Man open down the middle of the field into Virginia Tech real estate for Sanders. Big play, Georgia Tech. Third catch for Sanders and 20 yard. Jackets need to get a move on. Sims has an open man at the 40. Mark Gowan down the sideline. He's breaking tackles. He's inside the 25 yard line. Back to back first downs. And to make that big play happen, they'll move the chains again. Sims again. Toss to the end zone with air under it. And a diving attempt by Malachi Carter. Just off the fingertips, but he sold out for that one. That in the first quarter to McGowan. Rolling it right, throwing at the 11. Sanders makes his move to the goal line and in. Adonica Sanders, touchdown, Georgia Tech. Headlines two, Dante Smith is the back number four. Sims still has the football. Not a lot of territory to operate within. Tisdale closes the gap quickly. Two yards, Jeff Stadium. Sims, patience and time, 25-yard line. Pass complete to McGowan. They connected for a 26. Got to go up tempo inside of four minutes to go. Sims trying to run away, and he won't. Sims pulled down. It's Barno. Tom, how many times for number 11? Second sack of the game, Virginia Tech. Loss of 11. Here's Sims just heaving it. There is no receiver oh, in the neighborhood. They got some help. They got some help. Flying job of staying away from penalties like that. Costly error here. Can the Jackets capitalize on that penalty to preserve the drive? Would line up for an onside kick. Well, Sims just had to get rid of that one. You know what they've done this year on outside kicks, James, if it's necessary. Well, you, you've got a guy and stymie. Just 3 of 11 on third down. Sims back tracking. It was deflected by Jordan Mason, who tried to make a one-handed grab, and Hawkins almost came to him the game on fourth down. you got to go. Yellow Jackets. Sims. Intercepted. Armani Chapman intercepts the pass of Jeff Sims.